I have always feared maths during my school days and that's why quants has always been a nightmare for me in CAT. As a result, I ended up scoring just a 70 percentile in the quant section of CAT 2024. But now, it's time to turn this weakness into a strength and aim for a 99 percentile in CAT 2025. Today, I'm going to share the exact strategy that I've decided to follow for myself and maybe you can follow it too. But let's first talk about what actually went wrong last year so that you don't commit the same mistake which I did. The first mistake I made was avoiding quants during the early phase of my preparation due to my fear of maths. I kept postponing it for later and as a result, I was left with the entire quant syllabus just two months before CAT. The second mistake was not attempting enough quant sectionals and even when I did, I didn't analyze them properly. The third mistake was not being regular with mental calculations, ratios and percentage approximations. Skills that could have actually saved a lot of time while solving questions. Instead, I always ended up using the calculator. But now I have learned from my mistakes and this time I'm not going to repeat them and I hope you don't commit it too. Now before jumping into the plan, let us first look at the syllabus of the quant section in CAT. The quant section is mainly divided into five topics, arithmetic, algebra, geometry, number system and modern maths. Now let's do a quick analysis of the quant section of CAT 2024. The total number of questions that are asked in quants is 22. Scoring 99 percentile in the quant section of CAT 2024 was achievable by securing just 33 marks which means solving only 11 questions correctly. In other words, to score 99 percentile in quants, all you need is to solve around 50 percent of the questions correctly. After going through the slot wise analysis of CAT 2024 quants, here is what I found. 8 to 9 questions were from arithmetic, 6 to 7 questions from algebra, 3 to 4 questions from geometry, 2 to 3 questions from number system and 1 question from modern maths. From this, it's clear that arithmetic, algebra and geometry carry the most weightage in quants. So I will be focusing on these three topics first and then move on to the remaining ones. Now that we have six months left for CAT, here is the strategy I'm planning to follow and you can too. First of all, I will be maintaining two separate notebooks for quants. One for taking notes while watching concept videos and the other as my formula book where I will note down all the important formulas from each topic along with any new or important concept I come across while solving questions. I will be revising this formula book every weekend and this time I have targeted to solve around 100 to 150 questions every single week and for this I will be using Krakow's CAT study room which is a vast question bank with quality questions. I will also be simultaneously solving the previous year questions of each topic to know the type of questions that are being asked in the exam. My target is to complete the entire syllabus in three months that is by mid-September and devote the remaining time to extensive practice because quants is all about practice as the more you practice the better you become in it. So I'll begin with arithmetic in June and aim to complete it within one month. So here is my week wise plan. In week one I'll be completing percentages, profit and loss, simple and compound interest. In week two averages, ratio and proportion, mixture and allegation. In week three time speed and distance and in week four time and work. After completing arithmetic by mid July I'll be attempting three quant sectionals and one full length mock in July itself to assess my level in arithmetic. So next I will move on to algebra starting from around mid July and plan to complete its syllabus in the next one month. Here is the week wise breakdown. In week one I will be completing inequalities and modulus. In week two sequence and series functions and graphs. In week three linear and quadratic equations. In week four logarithms, thirds and indices. My target for August is to attempt three quant sectionals and two full length mocks. After finishing algebra, I will begin with geometry, number system and modern maths from around mid-August and complete their syllabus over the next one month that is by mid-September. Here is how I plan to break it down. In week one, I will be completing triangles, circles and polygons. In week two, mensuration. In week three, number system. And in week four, permutations and combination and probability. My target for September is to attempt three quant sectionals and four full length mocks that is one mock every week. For October and November, my target is to solve 200 questions every week, maintain and revise my formula book and revisit the difficult questions after a few days to reinforce learning. And along with that, I will be attempting two full length mocks every week and four quant sectionals overall that is two in October and two in November and analyze each and every questions properly. I know many of you might feel this schedule to be a little hectic, 
but cat is just less than 6 months away and if we wish to see ourselves in a top B school by this time next year then we have to put our 100% to get that 99 percentile in the quant section. Try to devote at least 3 to 4 hours daily to quants every day. Even if you are left with some topics after following this schedule, try to cover it in September, October and November along with question practice. So that's the plan I have set for myself for over the next 6 months to improve my quant score and I genuinely hope it helps you in some way too. Below I have provided the link to the source from where I will be practicing previous year questions. The questions are segregated topic wise and comes with detailed analysis for each topic and it's completely free. To track your progress, I have also provided the link of Kraku Quant's Task Tracker which will help you to track your progress for the next 6 months. It's an excel sheet and all you need is to make a copy of that sheet and you can edit it too. Feel free to change this strategy according to your strength and weakness. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and drop a comment if you have any queries or if you are following a different strategy, I would like to hear about it too. And of course, if you want to stay updated with more such cat prep content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's keep pushing, keep practicing and aim for 99 percentile together. All the best for your prep. See you in the next video.